this is probably the first time FaZe are coming into this matchup as the favourites, or at least in my mind they're coming in as the favourites. We'll see how it does end up playing out as SK make their way straight into that B bomb site immediately stopped by Exist, but there is a trade back from SK Gaming and they're starting to overwhelm this site for Coldzera. They're coming up with the goods and it's just Carrigan left alive and he has to clutch this one out. One versus three. Gets rid of the first one and that does put it back to the three. Slowing things down and of course there's still so many SK players to find for him and this is a very, very, very hard round for him. Just trying to find anything and SK's not giving him a single chance. Time's running down though, he's still, he has to press forward, he's got very little HP, he does have a kid if he can find these two headshots, there's one, and he's on the verge of doing it, but behind him is Fallen, Whoa. and he gets it! Kerrigan somehow does it! How's he managed to do that? He's stolen it away from SK! This has slowed down, there's gonna be a crossfire here, the angle from Nico, he spots the ankles, takes fur off, fur out at the legs, and now they push through Monster, but they're gonna be completely blinded, utility usage for FaZe, pretty solid, they're not able to swing the corner, the AK hasn't even been involved. Finally, it rings out, but it might be too late. Oh, well, you say that, but still he's starting to come up with the goods here for SK Gaming. They still have 45 seconds on that clock. It's a three versus three as they enter into the B site. Carrigan, once again, is holding strong, and Guardian is there as the reinforcements. But now it's on to Fallen, and for no real amount of time. Ah, no, they're probably going to go to plant. Well, of course, in the lap, Guardian, Kovac will get a few frags, and, of course, he will improve his statistics, he will be happy. It was not bad to call him here today, because there is Tavo Farmgun, or if he goes in the spine, he needs to work a little bit of money, not just like that, he bought his Tigre in MP9. И Гардиан все еще ждет. 30 секунд остается. СК решили прям очень медленно в темпе такого слоу-моушен вальса заходить ван бай ван, отдавая души Гардиану. Ну и, конечно же, Словак все-таки получает хедшот от Болса при помощи Дигла. Дальше Рейн, борьба от него, добивает он Болса. Сзади уже должен зажигать здесь здесь. Да, он приходит, добивает Колзера, остается только Фер. Привет, Феро. Это 3-0. Cold Zero with the bomb is stuck behind it. That allows Nico back into the site. The pop flash out into Monster. He's going to spray down too. Actually, it's Exist to get the second frag there, but still great work from FaZe. And now Nico challenges the second player, and it's fallen to go down. SK, they haven't managed to get anything done at all in this round, and FaZe more. It will be the B bomb site that SK decide to have an expedition into. It hasn't started off too nicely either, as Exist is holding again on that B bomb site, backed up by Nico. Inevitably, Nico does go down, but all in all, not too bad of a result for FaZe. They've only lost the two guns. That's good enough. Wall to dodge a flashbang rain behind the rock. He needs to get the first kill. Peeks up. There's one jumping. He doesn't oh. find that. Kerrigan turns. They've demolished the hit. The bomb is on the ground. And FaZe, their dominance continues. Have a world of hurt ahead of them. And Stewie, he doesn't know what's coming for him right now. Oh, perhaps he does as he peeks the corner. But there's, of course, two players there for FaZe. And Rain is able to get the trade quite effectively. Ten seconds. And if Bolts wants to get in and just stick this plan, he's got to do it. Rain is going to shut him down from above. 6-0 to zero for FaZe. He's a little bit safe, but if SK get a nice pop flash through this smoke and bust out, maybe Rain might have a bit of a surprise headed for him, and that's exactly what SK have decided to do, though Rain definitely avoiding the flashbang. He'll get the first two. That's enough. Stewie's been able to trade him out, and that is another AK in the hands of SK, but with a two-player, or rather a one-player deficit, SK going to find it difficult to get into this site. However, I speak too soon. Stewie, again, stepping up here for SK. We're back into a 3v3. If the next kill goes the way of SK, which it might just... Sisto does deny that idea. Carrigan looking so solid for FaZe as well. And it's just Cold Zero with a scout. He can't get anything done. Looks like Bolts is semi-aware, although perhaps not aware enough. And Nico will find the opening frag here. SK, they use that as their time to enter the site, and they'll get one kill off the back of it. But Carrigan is here, and he gets two. Not quite the third, but Nico is there to clean up the scraps. And it's all on Fallen for SK. He's going to go down. Rain on the flank. Deciding to get aggressive. Stewie's going to lead the way. Flashbang over. Gets the first kill. Follows it up with the second. Ooh. But Bolts is there. And Rain dispatches him with ease. That's exactly what Rain needed to do in this round for FaZe. It was the only chance that they had to win the round. And he's come up with the goods. And now SK, they've stumbled. Two players left. Fallen and Fur. Well, it's absolutely possible for them. But it needs to be some nice shooting. And it's now just Fallen. He does get rid of one. But he doesn't know there is a couple of players lurking very close by. He's going to miss that shot. That is going to be his death. Nico shuts him down. Big implications for the rest of this map. Pot potentially just off that one triple kill that Rain is able to find. Now FaZe, they're coming back into it. And look at this, Rain. He's decided 
He doesn't want to mess around anymore and just pushes on forward. Fallen and fur do fall. And he just builds into it, he seems. He just keeps getting better and better every time he makes a play. It just improves his effort in the next round. Bolt's going to entry onto that B-bomb site. And one more player here. That's going to be Exist. Nico is starting to push out. He's going to go for a flank. Exist just needs to live, but he's going to challenge. He's going to challenge around the corner, and he's going to lose it. Nade ringing true, but still, SK, they just don't have a hope with this flank coming in. Nico's going to end him. Nico's going to end this half with a double kill. Whatever you can do, we can do it better. And here they come. It's going to be a complete retake. Only Cold Zera at this B site. He's backed away. And he's going to let this plan happen. No, da oh, no damage has been dealt until Guardian hits someone in the face. And now they push forward onto Cold Zera. Gets caught in the middle of a spam. And even Kerrigan's going to get an easy one on the Stewie. Yeah, very, very fast round out there from FaZe. They don't want to relinquish any of the pressure that is on SK right now. And they have absolutely succeeded in that mission. Four players left for FaZe and nothing there for SK. Таки вернул сад стрельбы своих оппонентов, хотя казалось бы калаши против его стороны стреляли. Не мог десятые. Гардиан тем временем на время открывается у нас с банана. Гэриган находит свои килы вместе с Дистом. Размены не в пользу SK Gaming. Они полностью проваливают Аплент в этом форсбайном раунде, что ставит по факту крест на этом раунде и на следующем раунде также. Если только Фэр и Стюиту Кейни сделают четыре кила против поставленной бомбы без диффузкитов. Это выглядит крайне печально. То же самое главное, конечно, обрести какую-то форму, поверить в себя и, конечно, показать всем своим фанатам, чего они стоят. Рейн тем временем погибает от пуста. Стью Тукея. Гардин пришел фармить. Говорит, ты знаком с моим Мак-10. Я назвал его Дуся. Но Болс и Колзе раз Дуси знакомиться не хотят. Болс уходит назад. Пойдут ли игроки команды Фейс? В принципе, могут выйти на плент и поставить бомбу, там не парится, там остается один фер. Но они думают, вроде как, пойти на точку Б. Тут еще Экзист откидывает сейчас своим тиммейтом флешку. Игроки защиты ослепли, болт моментально падает. Колдзира наказывает одного и второго с Юспа и фер. I gotta have great timing with this utility first called for it. He wants to get aggressive. There's the flash. Kerrigan had an aid in his hand. He wasn't blind, but Fur certainly can't get away. FaZe is gonna hunt him down. The follow-up flash bang, though, is beautiful. Great teamwork, and they've made it work. Two kills for Stewie and Fur combined. Crazy that he's able to get away with that twice. FaZe not punishing him for it. And Guardian even loses a significant chunk of his HP before eventually taking down Fur. Oh, a tough chance now for FaZe, but still a chance. Coldzera holding a good line though. He'll get one. Rain can't quite look for the second just yet, and Stewie continues the spray. That's going to be the round over. SK, they've managed to hang on. Guardian. Best case for him really is to save this all through, but it seems unrealistic, and indeed it is. Четыре выход на Б. Фолин замечает тень, конечно же. Керриган пытался выползти, не получилось. Рейн разваливает Фера. Ситуация 3 в 3 по ХП. Проблемы у команды СК Гейминг. 15 секунд до конца. Коктейль Молотова в малый. Фолин по-прежнему живет. Кол, кстати, на балконе попробует сейчас забрать. Гардиан нашивает, ставит бомбу. Банально в смог. И... Дают установить да. эту бомбу. Так невозможно пушить э, при таком лоу КП. Очень-очень опасно это делать. Колд продолжает работу с балкона. Ника приседает, но как же долго Колд там живет, стягивая на себя максимум внимания. Но его тиммейты не пользуются этим вниманием. Они не пользуются тем, что Колзера все еще живет и работает с балкона. Босс открывается слева. Гардиан его здесь ждет. Полон открывается сам уже с малых песков. Ему нужно действовать. Он в любом случае умрет. Здесь рвется, неважно. Надо идти сейф. и пытаться. Да какой сейф ты не уйдешь? Ушел у нас Колд э, Зира. Да. Крайне опасный Керриган. Ранние тайминги от Фейсла. Он неожиданно возможно для Фоллана компании. Они делают первый килл. Фоллан убивает еще одного. Кто-нибудь? Остановите папу. Остановили папу. Теперь надо остановить сына Стюи Тукея. Но нет. Все, он уйдет. Ну, кстати, непонятно. Может быть, деньги там есть. И сейвить, наверное, не стоит. Один в три. Он, кстати, делает вид, что он уходит. Потому что а -а -а. попробует затащить. Но если в следующем yeah. раунде в любом случае баю всех, поэтому сейвить, наверное, нет смысла. Но с другой стороны, Стю... Deep Stew is playing at this A-bomb site. He was all the way back at the top of the stairs. And he's the only one here. He's got a job to do. And Nico takes it away from him. What an absolutely magical shot. The AK, or rather the AWP now in the hands of Guardian. He's going to make good use of it. This might be the round over. SK Gaming, they need to come back into this A-bomb side, and Guardian is missing quite a few shots. That gives the opportunity over to Fallen, but he still needs more. In the three versus four, FaZe have set themselves up with a fantastic post plant, but they don't have many guns to work with, so it's still doable for SK Gaming, but Fallen needs to be hitting his shots, and he doesn't. Exist will shut him down. The player advantage still resides with FaZe. It's all on Cold Zera. 1v2. He doesn't have the time to work with. And this is not the round you want to lose if you're SK. This is going to put FaZe through. 
If Caldera can't do it, and he can't, there's no time left. It's going to be phased. Up 16, 13, map one will go their way.